everyone, and welcome to Shopping with Sonia. I'm your host, Sonia. And as you can see, you clicked on this video because we went to Ollie's, the kind of like overstock. Before we get to that, this is S Family Studios, the variety channel. I do videos with my husband, taste tests, um, shop with me's, a lot of Halloween and holiday shopping, shop with me's in general. So if you like what you see, please subscribe, like the video, comment, all that good stuff. Without further ado, let's get to the sh Ollie shop with me. Here I have an array of rugs. Medium size, I guess you'd say. There's some round ones just kind of there. And some doormats. Some wooden uh, planks over there. Probably cheaper to buy them here, buy the piece. And some more rugs behind me, all rolled up. I think it was around $35 to $60, something like that. And shampooers, probably cheaper here than at Walmart. I think those are vacuums right there, small ones. And a Stanley wet vac, wet dry vac. I think this one was $50. Yes, $49.99. Hundred dollars for those. Hundred twenty-nine. I think that's a record player. <laughs> well, it says USB turntable. Here's some desks. This was like a wine cart. Some other furniture, lamps, more tables and desks. A little shelf and a couple chairs. Rocking chair. Bright orange one. Shelf. And like a wardrobe. A few lamps, another big shelf, and randomly placed yoga mats. Here's a exercise bike, I think it's elliptical. Funky lamps. Here is a Keen mattress. And they had box springs that were about $140. Kind of bent there. <laughs> they had full and twin size also. Here's an array of skateboards. I think they are 10 or 20 dollars. 20. I think skateboarding is making a big comeback. Here are some fishing poles, a lot of them Star Wars. Some for the little kids. They had a big batch here in different colors. And some sports balls, basketball, football. Maybe a soccer ball or a volleyball around there, too. Here are some helmets. They have adult and kid sizes. I think these ones were like the teen adult ones. Has a Blue's Clues one there and a unicorn one. Sharks. Doc McStuffins. Finding Nemo one. Jake and the Neverending Pirates. One with hearts on it. LOLs on there. Um, I guess that's Lion King, Monster High. Here's an end cap full of games. 101 games. 10 bucks for that. Birdie's Hazard and mulligans not sure what that is deluxe poker set some checkers there a hundred classic games bag backgammon <laughs> monopoly speed frozen 2 junior labyrinth game office politics risk game boggle and uno flip not sure what that is xeno shift cross signals Space Jam Monopoly, Frozen 2 game, a Titanic game, 
I don't know if it was a trivia game or what, didn't really say. Builderopoly Jr. Cat Edition. And that no was like a Google um, pod one, those speakers, I can't remember what they're called. And here are your make it yourself kits. Got stick and tile mosaic, rock art, spiral art, movie projector, ice cream maker, make flower magnets, a gardening set, or no, it's a let's explore set, stained glass, create your own pirate chest, little tykes uh, shape finder, or sh one of those things, helps you with Tetris. Miss, Miss Potato Head, Wooden Puzzles, Make It Yourself Cupcake Pillow, this one is pretty cool, Hershey's Checkers, got Reese's Pieces and uh, Hershey Kisses, kind of cool collector's edition. And they already had some air conditioners out, range from Four hundred dollars, a three thirty, three hundred thirty dollars. And here are some action figures. Got a lot of Star Wars. And some Marvel ones. Crazy looking Luke. <laughs> Weird wrestler one. Stormtrooper. PJ Masks. Legends. I think it's Marvel Overwatch. I'm trying to get the faces of them. <laughs> Here's an old fashioned Thor. So if you're a big collector, I'd stop here. They have a lot. They even had like Space Jam ones. Bakugan, I think that was. Danger Mouse, The Batman, here we have a few Barbies and accessories, Barbies making another comeback with the movie coming out, more Barbies and fairy things, I think it's like Winx, I think it was a show in the mid 2000s. Cinderella little pieces, tea set, trolls, emoji pops, I'm not sure what that is, <laughs> some Pixar toys, minion, and some bluey figurines, I've heard stuff about it but have not watched it, Rapunzel, Hair kit, makeup kit, and some other ones. Wreck It Ralph. Um, I think game or little castle. Some dolls, more Wreck It Ralph toys. Pony that's from Spirit. The second one, or like the animated, car like another movie. I'm not sure what it is. Barbie nails and hair kit. Crossfire for all you '90s kids out there. Some Ghostbuster action figures. And here's your outdoor tool section. Just a wide shot of various items. Shovels, pitchforks, gardening hose, little shovels, all that good stuff. And some shears. Here are some outdoor pillows, patio chair pillows. Here are some flags for like spring, cool looking moon and sun one. Happy spring, 4th of July one. They even had a summer one, overzealous. Be light to the world. Honey, I'm home, good vibes. 4th of July gnomes. I don't know what this guy was. Some kind of monster gnome. 
garden, bees and butterflies welcome. Bless this home. Welcome spring. Truck welcome. Welcome to the garden with bunnies. Long live the adventure. Love grows here. Springtime, spring has sprung. Country living, farmer's market. Welcome and blessed. Be still. Bless our home. Bunny with welcome. Here's some gardening globes, different variations, and pots. Here's a wide shot of all the fake flowers they have. A sun sail, hammock in a bag, and a gas grill cover. Some gardening stones. Here's more patio covers. Cool looking pillow. Uh, gazebo weights so it doesn't fly away. And multiple umbrellas. Patio umbrellas. Umbrella base. Here's a few lights. Pineapples, LED. Mason jar, solar ones. Pathway ones. Tried to get these to work but none of them did. Here's a mason jar with a butterfly in it. Solar light. Pretty cool. Five pack of solar lights. These ones are crosses and frogs. Like a weird honeycomb looking. Instead of gazebo. I think it's about 50 bucks. A patio mat. 8 by 10 feet. A bunch of wind chimes. Got a gnome and a butterfly. Ten bucks for those. And they of course if they had air conditioners, they have to have fans. We're rolling it out for spring and summer. And here's a few of their chairs that they have. Here's like a makeshift gravity one. With a patio tent there. Beach chairs. Some patio pillows, or you can use them for indoors. Little kid ones on the other side there. More cushions for the patio. Here are some fleece blankets and plush blankets that they had. Just a small section of those. Ones sure that are Sherpa lined. These ones were like fake fur ones, really soft. Here are some travel pillows. There was a couple that were memory foam, other ones that were just plush. Decorative pillows, one that says adventure and blessed. Zebra print one. Some quilts, heated blanket. Fifty dollars for that. And here are sofa savers, basically just slip covers for love seats, chairs, big sofas. I bought one last year and it's still intact and good, so I'd recommend. You can get ones that have design on them, like these checkered ones. Good if you have pets too. And here are some comforters and other different beddings. There's like a bright orange one up there. Flower one. Black and white one. Here for the kiddos, Trolls, Space Jam, LOL, Ryan's World from YouTube, Blue's Clues uh, Blanket. They had a bunch of Animal Crossing. Here's one blanket. Vivo. Have no idea what that is. Despicable Me with the unicorn. More trolls. Here's an Animal Crossing bed set. It was very tempting to get my son since he loves Animal Crossing. Blue's Clues. Ryan's World. Different variations of the sheets. 
Frozen 2 weighted blanket. Dream in color, didn't really get to see what that was. PJ Masks, Galaxy Explorers, not sure what that is. Another PJ Masks, and this one was like a car's blanket. Another Ryan's World. And here is a gnome bl uh, fleece blanket, or not fleece blanket, uh, sheet. Car Christmas one. Three piece flannel set. And the one with fish. And here's a couple of their pillows, just showing them their two packs were about like $10, maybe even cheaper than that. Pretty soft. Isopedic one. They had one that was like satin too. People say, oh, satin's good for your skin and hair. I had one and it made my hair snarly. Here's a Joe Boxer sheet with a bunch of food on it. And here are some of their kitchen sets. Knives and plates and cups. Perfect for someone getting married. Mother's Day gift. Different colanders and bowls. Bakeware's oval and square. Glass baker, I think. Here's some organizers. Drawer organizer. And a Pyrex uh, liquid measuring cup. <laughs> and a whole array wall, basically, of um, cutters. <laughs> Cutting boards. More designer plates. Bowls and cup. There's a Rachel Ray, Ray uh, Baker. And a whole bunch of wine glasses. Again, perfect gift for a couple or Mother's Day coming up. They have like an ice bucket up too, up there also. And here's just some of their oven mitts and towels. Some of them are summer themed. We got anchors there. They even had like fall theme out still. Leaves, pumpkins and stuff, which were my favorite obviously. And here we have some tech stuff. Wireless speaker. There's like a drone there. A pro gift kit. Like the ear pods I think. Speaker. Blast box. Corona something. <laughs> and here are some toaster ovens and air fryers. And some deep fryers, electric skillets, and some waffle makers. Looks like there's a juicer there too. Indoor grill. These could be good for Father's Day gifts, which is right after Mother's Day. Cool looking toaster. Blenders, Nutribullet. Pretty cheap. Again, I think they're cheaper than Walmart. And here are some gardening shoes, they're calling. They're like kind of foam and uh, makeshift Crocs if you don't want to break the bank. And some slippers and little kid shoes. Because kids like to go through shoes. <laughs> Welcome back, y'all, and hope you enjoyed that. So, I have a mini haul, not too big. I'm just going to mention one thing I bought super glue, and uh, now I feel like a uh, reptile or something because I got some on my hand because it came out really fast. I was fixing a couple of toys for my son. And yeah, I've been trying to get it off. I used oil, I used hot water and soap. I mean, some of it came off, but anyway, I digress. I also got some toothpaste, nothing too important, but we'll get into the fun stuff. I mean, this one ain't really fun, but I like it. So me and my spookiness goth self, I wanted to get new towels because some of the other ones I have need to be thrown out. So I got really, really big ones that are black and white. Yay, Beetlejuice. <laughs> I can't remember the size of them. Maybe it says on here. 
It says hotel bath sheet. It does not say how big they are. It's 100% cotton, but they're huge. I can wrap it around me twice and still have room to grow, so they're, they're pretty big. And I bought two of those, $8 a pop, so not bad because Walmart, I think, has ones that are smaller than that that are about $7, so you're getting a better deal there. Up next, what I got for my son because I'm a mom, I have to spoil my son when I see some cool stuff. Peekaboo! Well, Pika flat boo. And it's just like a little storybook that has like different vocabularies for Halloween and it has the open flaps and some like weird facts like this one says in Japan black cats are a sign of good luck it's very colorful very cute a lot of flappy pages and of course I had to spoil them again and he's been really creative with these but I got some more play-doh they're supposed to be silly scents we have strawberry grape and orange. Me and my husband smell these and they just smell like play-doh. They don't smell like the scent at all but that doesn't really matter. I just wanted to get more play-doh for my son because he seems to be really enjoying it and he has, if you've seen my last video in, was it Big Lots? Yes, Big Lots. I bought him one that was a little bit bigger than this and it came with a cat cutout so he's been making more kitty cutouts with these colors. And up last I got this really incredible soft hoodie. I got green. They had black and a blue and I was just like, the black one they didn't really have my size. They had it bigger or like extra small. I'm like, who the hell wears an extra small in this day and age? And I wanted more color because the dark blue, I'm like, I want to get out of blues and black. I want more color. So green was the next best thing and it's really soft and it's like fleecy inside. But yeah, it, it's not, like, I think it'd be good for fall, probably spring too, obviously not summer. Winter, I kind of, sometimes I run cold, sometimes I run warm, so I think winter would probably be fine for it too. Just a casual hoodie. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like, like I said before, and I'll see you next time on Shopping with Sonya.